I waited to unwrap or unbox even though I've had this for two days now Ta -da! In a few hours I'm going to be performing there Ta -da! I keep saying ta -da. First time holding the physical There's me Thank you so much to everyone who bought the physical CDs. It's surreal for me to feel the physical right now. I grew up with CDs, listening to classical music on CDs. So it's cool, kind of cool, really cool. I don't have words, but I'm honored to be part of this project released by Sony Classical. I hope you like it. I'm so excited every time I see posts from you or messages from you saying that you bought the physical CDs. Your support means so much, you guys have no idea <laughs> about each CD purchase. As you might know, I recorded the Humoresque number no. 7 and also the Doomkey Trio with Jan Vogler and Chad Hoops. Are you guys excited? <laughs> we are very excited. This is really sweet. Completely thrilled. Yay! Thrilled because... Oh, Chad just unpacked it. Is that actually out? I've never seen any. Wait, Magical. Wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, please, no pollution. Oh, there's Dvorak. Ah, uh, yeah. That's very nice. Let's Who see else what is in there? Yeah, let's What's unique see about the nice. more physical is around. that you get images, but also you get text about the pieces that were written by all of the musicians on the CD. So I wrote mine on the Humoresque. I just wanted to let you know that now I have it here physically and you can get it also. I'll try to link as many places as I can for where you can buy it in different countries, but keep checking if you can't find it at the moment. It's still relatively new, so it'll pop up, I think, in more places, especially if there's a lot of demand and support for it. So fingers crossed that you like this and thank you, thank you. In this video, you're about to watch the behind the scenes, same section of a piece on the CD called the Dookie Trio, where you'll hear the progress. Actually, I'll be curious if you can hear the difference between rehearsing this piece and then the recording session. Hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes look. And again, thank you so, so, so much to those of you who have already bought this physical CD. You have no idea how much this means to me and to everyone in this project. If you've enjoyed the CD, please leave a review. Actually not on my YouTube because it's kind of awkward for me to tell them to watch my YouTube video. So if you want the musicians on the CD to know how much you enjoy the album, please leave a review on, I think, Amazon or you probably know better than I do. But yeah, thank you so much for all the support. Also, thank you so much to everyone who has been streaming on Spotify. Thank you so much for all of the support. You can also buy the MP3 if you want to support us if you're not able to get the physical CD. We'll let you now watch the behind the scenes while I watch some ducks. I didn't vlog the actual rehearsing part of our first rehearsal just because I never want to spring this onto people and not everyone is super comfortable with just sharing the first note of the first rehearsal but basically we ran through the piece twice first time we stopped a little bit more and just talked about the general character of this piece I guess I can say it now, the first time I heard this piece was not too long ago actually, it was last month and the first time I listened through I was actually quite lost because this piece, the constant switching of moods which if you don't know, Doomkey, Doomka, 
it refers to a character who experiences highs and lows, switches between melancholy and super exuberant, exhilarating moments. So, in fact, it's quite similar to Schumann's dual personalities. Eusebius is the dreamy one, Florestan is the very forward, passionate, usually faster. It's a little bit similar. Sometimes we want to talk about the tempo because there's quite a lot of slowing down, picking it back up again, and then suddenly slow, and then gets faster and faster. So these switches, I think for the most part, we were quite in sync. It was just lovely to play with musicians again. It's been a while. Last time I did this was in Salzburg with an orchestra. I haven't done chamber music, I guess, since the Schumann uh, chamber music concert that some of you might have seen on Dream Stage back in 2021 in March. So somehow I'm just very lucky to have these first experience with such great musicians. That's my first time because it's my first time playing Dvalzak. And so I hope you enjoy the recording. I I move so just as long as you're aware. never done six hour music work day it's because I am first of an introvert it's not that I don't like socializing with people it's just I get exhausted it takes a lot out of me not, I'm just explaining my mentality I'm not saying any of this to sound like I'm complaining because this is fun it's really fun and I like this job but physically mentally psychologically it, I get so exhausted because in this setting, I not only have to socialize, but also react musically. I have a newfound respect, is the point of anything that I'm saying right now. A newfound respect for chamber music players. A lot of times as pianists, we say, oh, the other players just have one line to think about, but it's actually a very important skill and a lot of energy to react and play with other musicians especially when it's a trio or a smaller group. In chamber music, you're very, very transparent in the group, so you really have to catch each other or be able to grow and play together in a way that's organic and communicative. Does that make sense? Anyway, that was the first thing. Second thing is, I really want to use today's last session to really go for it. I mentioned that the piano is a little bit on the slow side when it comes to me thinking in my head what I want to do, 
playing it and then also the piano taking just a slight bit in the key um, reaction to get the point across and especially play in a hall I want to give my max because I have nothing else to lose I, I can die physically <laughs> tonight this is not even wood but I, I can just give it all also I might be half asleep when I'm recording humoresque which will be interesting which will be interesting because <laughs> I would have loved to sleep longer um, I woke up in the middle of the night because I got kind of hungry because this was a lot of physical energy and I'm kind of sore but in a good way